Aloha. 35 days ago, we came here to speak about the death of Terry Jones. We spoke how she was the victim of a theft. We are here today because an arrest has been made. I would like to introduce Assistant Chief Randy Esperanza. Thank you, Chief. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all of the brave men and women of the Maui Police Department who worked on this case. I also want to thank the co uh, members of the community who came forward with the vital bits of information, which will be crucial in the prosecution of this individual. At first, we had little to go on, but I credit the tenacity and perseverance of our Crime Reduction Unit and Criminal Investigative Division and the awesome teamwork they displayed in pursuing and apprehending this individual. At this time, I would like to introduce the lead detective in the case, Detective John Serena, who will provide you with an update. Thank you, Chief. Good afternoon, everyone. After Terry's crash, multiple checks were conducted in the upcountry area for surveillance video and evidence which might lead to the development of possible suspects. These checks continued for the days following the crash, during which, time, during which time assistance was received from concerned members of the community that helped with the development of a timeline of events and provided locations where evidence was found. With the continued assistance of community members, vigilant police work using technology and additional investigative efforts by police personnel, a suspect named Robert Nelson was identified. Yesterday, March 30th, at approximately 2.30 p.m., Mr. Nelson was witnessed breaking into parked cars within a parking lot in Makawa. Police were called and members of the Crime Reduction Unit arrested Nelson as he unsuccessfully attempted to flee the area. Following his arrest, and as, as the investigation proceeded, Mr. Nelson confessed to his involvement with breaking into Ms. Terry Jones' vehicle and the theft of her purse. He provided investigators with unverifiable details of the break-in that tend to confirm his specific involvement in the crime. At this time, we are continuing this investigation and we will be coordinating with the prosecutor's office for all appropriate charges. Thank you very much. And I now turn it over to Assistant Chief of Police Esperanza. I'm happy to report that we just received notification that a second individual who was involved in this case has just been apprehended. Now at this time, I would like to invite Terry's children, Stacy and Kaylin Yagi, to say a few words. Good afternoon. We would like to thank the department for their ongoing efforts to find the people involved in our mom's accident. We are so proud and not for a moment did we ever doubt that we would get justice. There aren't, there isn't a big enough word to say how grateful we are. Thank you so much. I would like to echo Assistant Chief Esperanza and thank our incredible men and women of this department. I also want to thank the outstanding members of this community in addition, I want to thank the media who carried this story. As I've said before, this is a partnership. We need to continue to be here for one another and support Stacy and Kaylin, as well as all in our community. 
Mahalo. We'll take some questions, but the family at their request is gonna step out. Chief, you mentioned um, a second person has been apprehended. Can you discuss um, what police believe that person's involvement is in, in this incident? I'll turn that one over to the detective. Sergeant, if you don't mind. Regarding your question, uh, we believe that the sus second suspect uh, involved in uh, this uh, investigation was with uh, the primary suspect, Mr. Nelson, during the time of the break-in. Was there some kind of um, plea deal or exchange of information on other types of crimes that may have occurred? No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, it occurred on Kula Highway, approximately 100 yards north of Omopio Road on the Mackay or west side of the road. Has a second suspect been charged? No. Not at this time. It's just came in and we're still uh, actively developing that information. Um, Mr. Nelson, um, do you, did you folks have prior dealings with him? Does he have a record? Uh, yes, he does, and yes, we have. Correct, yes. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. It is an ongoing investigation, and that other apprehension was within the last 70 minutes or so. Thank you very much.